So how often would you say you skate here in Estes? Uh, I'd say I go there basically anytime it's not snowy or rainy and I got my friends all lined up. So I'd say about like two times a week usually, sometimes three. All right. So in your opinion, is the skate park in Estes in good condition? Uh, definitely not. Um, it is skatable occasionally if it's, well, I mean, stuff keeps falling apart every once in a while and you just kind of figure out a new way to skate it. Like, uh, we call it the hump there. Um, one of the ramps to get up to it, it just completely rotted away. So now we use it to make other obstacles because that's all you can do to keep having fun when it's falling apart. Oh, wow. So when it's winter time, what do you guys do for skating? Can you still go down to the skate park? Not really, no. It's pretty much unskatable unless you have a snow shovel and a broom and a lot of time because you got to get rid of the snow, then get rid of the salt. Yeah. Um, so I'd say probably winter time we're going to start just skating street whenever it's dried out because that's all you really can do. So in your opinion, do you see the skate park being fixed anytime soon? Uh, heard through one of my friends. Uh, his parent has a friend in like the uh, town council or whatever it is up here. I heard there was plans to fix it, like or to do something to it around like 2024. Uh, seeing has how construction projects tend to turn out, I bet that's going to be five years after I graduate. I can come to a brand new skate park, but. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's going to be fixed anytime soon. We are moving toward, or did approve this endeavor to get a new skate park. And that's it'll awesome. be shot creek and it'll be concrete. And so the first step is to get a design on the cost estimate. So for the short term, you don't see anything much happen with it? Not really, no. Okay, so the next question is, uh, do you think that the town supports it? Um, do you think the town has any sense of urgency on Definitely not. I think they kind of have this uh, predisposition to think of skaters as just like bad kids up here. Mm. Like they think if they make a new skate park it's just going to get graffitied anyway so why do it? And yeah. part of that is the old population of this town. It's a, it's yeah, it's people. all old people. <laughs> yeah. gotcha. It's like Florida in the mountains is just where old people come to retire. Yeah. Uh, pretty much just what I heard from uh, my friend's parents is there supposedly is a plan to have it fixed kind of around the end of 2024, but that's all I've heard about it, and I haven't really heard like what they're planning to do for all I know, they're just going to put a single street light in. Um, and then personally, have you tried to help at all fixing up the skate park yourself? Uh, yeah, I actually was helping in one of my construction classes to build a uh, brand new half pipe for the skate park. I think the total project cost for the existing skate park, again, it was prior to my time here, it was about $95,000. Okay. Prices have changed. Yeah. <laughs> a new one would be about four to five times that, mm -hmm. so. I saw that they had, last summer they had gone to, a couple students had gone to fix it up a little bit, get the new uh, half pipe in there. I never really got involved with it just yet, because I started skating like the middle of last year when I wasn't even in school. Um, so now I have a chance to, I might as well see if I can do anything about it, but pretty much all I've done to help is, uh, I'd see if I could build an obstacle, because that's all I can do really, Yeah. Sweet. for the time being. Now most people would think that, you know, skating in Estes Park is pretty cool. I mean, you got mountains, you got beautiful elk during the summer, um, but once you actually get down here and look at it, you realize that it's kind of falling apart. You're missing a ton of bolts in these rails. Uh, you're missing whole poles right there. You got a, you got this, you know, fun little platform. Um, but you know, as you can see, there's a. Oh, this is gonna ice to the ground. But this is supposed to be on this hump, this little hump right here. Now, something that is pretty cool is uh, we got that little half pipe in there. Um, that's something that uh, students from the high school over there they built put in there um, Now I know you can't see it because of this giant snowbank, but there's actually a bunch of nails sticking out at the bottom So if you slip you might scrape your ass 